What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I've got some gameplay on the 1v1 court for you guys. And this gameplay was insane and you guys are gonna see why soon. So in this game, we're up 6-0 to zero at the moment. Right here I'm just gonna take an easy layup to get takeover. And this takeover is insane because I can body people in the paint and I can drop people. Right here you can see I didn't drop him but I did get this guy to stumble. He was doing a little nae nae. And a few plays later, you can see I still have takeover dropped. This guy falls right on his bum. He cannot hold me. And in the very next play, I'm going to take his ankles out again, get him touching the ground, get an easy layup. We're up 18-0. to zero, And right here, he thinks I'm going to drive in, but I got him jumping. Easy windmill. And I'm going to make him face plant, which is insane because I've taken some ankles. I've actually taken a lot, especially on the 1v1 court on this build, but I've never gotten that faceplant animation when I've dropped somebody, so I was going crazy when that happened. Sorry I don't have a live reaction for you guys. As you can see, I'm stepping back and hitting the shot. This build can do basically everything, which is insane. That's why I love this build. If you guys don't know, if you're new to the channel, this is a playmaking post scorer, and when people see my build, they're really confused about it. They're like, playmaking post score? What is that? That build is trash. But this build is actually amazing. And as you can see here, I'm going to take a deep post hop shot. It's almost a three pointer and it's green. I'm going to be completely honest. I have no idea how I hit that shot and I have no idea how I greened it. But hey, I'll definitely take it. If 2K wants to give me that, I'll take it. And right here, I did turn the ball over. This guy ended up blocking my shot. And look at what this guy does on offense. He's just left writing, but he's not creating anything. Four seconds on the shot clock. He takes it back to the three. I don't even have to jump to block it. I'm going to take it. Tween the legs dunk. Easy points. And against the next opponent, I had to take some ankles. Got him touching the ground. Look at this. He can't even get up. Post hop shot green. I'm going to be honest. I don't know why I did a post hop shot. I guess it was just for the rep because I was just fooling around, honestly. Most of the people that pulled up on me were bad. I had maybe five or six people that were good that pulled up on me like this guy right here he was actually decent he was a big man so he could actually play defense on me but most of the guards i was just taking a bunch of post hop shots for the rep and this guy he was good but in the beginning of the game he was not playing defense he did not know how to guard me he didn't know my play style anything as you can see i'm stepping back hitting mid-range step back shots now i got takeover so it's pretty much over for this guy as you can see i'm hitting the and one on him and that's gonna be the game so next up we got a guard and right here i could not break his ankles most of the time when i try to break someone's ankles it happens right away but there we go it took four tries hard and step back green this build can do it all it's insane i was just fooling around most of the time breaking ankles dropping people guards bigs everyone nobody could hold me in the post on the perimeter look at this guy he's reaching he doesn't know what to do i'm gonna take a step back green i have no idea how i green that i can hit those shots but greens i don't know i guess tuka was being a little bit generous but speaking of generous i'm gonna take a post fade that's almost a three-pointer and i hit it i have no idea how i hit that but this guy right here he has takeover but it doesn't matter i have takeover too this guy ended up scoring nine points i think that's the highest somebody scored on me in this because like I said, most of the people that were pulling up were trash. Like this guy right here, he was on a two-way stretch. He could not guard me. As you can see, I faked going inside, took a post hop shot out. And as you can see, look at this. He can't guard me. He's not doing anything. He's just sitting there. Post hop shot, green. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know how to guard it. So we beat him easily. This next guy here, he actually got the ball from me. But he's going to take a post hop shot. Lightly contested. He's going to brick. So he's not going to end up scoring, which kind of sucks for him because he actually had the chance to not get shut out. But anyway, as you can see, he can't guard me. Look at this. Post hop shot, fake, up and under, easy. And speaking of easy, watch this next play right here. I did a snatch back and got another guy in the faceplant animation, which is insane because as you can see in the bottom right, he ended up quitting, but I still dropped his AI. But I didn't just drop his AI once. I dropped him twice for the game, easy between the legs dunk, and I was just saucing on everyone. It was insane. Look at this guy here. He knew that I was trying to break ankles. I guess he was watching the game before that, so he was trying to flop. I don't know why he flopped here in the post. Didn't really make sense to me, but anyway, in the next play, you know we have to get ankles. He's holding circle. I gotta catch him off guard, break his ankles, put him on all fours, 
I got this guy to drop so hard that he was touching the ground. And right here, once again, he's holding circle. I don't know why he's doing it in the post, but I'll take the easy points. And we had to finish him off right here. I wanted one more ankle breaker, and I got one more ankle breaker. I got him to fall on his bum, 360 dunk. In this next play, I actually got a really bad drop step animation, so I just kept faking until I got this shove animation, then I took an easy layup. Somehow it was lightly contested, but I get it to fall anyway. And to end the game off, you know we gotta end it on an ankle breaker right here. Snatch back, I'm gonna get him to fall, green, and that's game. Like I said, most of these games were against bums. There were amateurs and there were some pros that pulled up, but this guard right here could not guard this one move that I was doing. As you can see, I faked inside, then I go outside. Look at this, I'm gonna hit him with the same move twice in a row, green it both times, and I got takeover just like that. And a lot of these guards, obviously they're much shorter than me, so it was super easy to get takeover, and then I could just break their ankles right here. I step back and green the shot. And on these 1v1 courts, I was greening so many step backs, it was insane. But anyway, right here, this guy went for the steal, he went flying in the wrong direction, and we're gonna win that game. So, the next game we played, we got this guy to quit, and let's just say his AI could not play defense. Right here, I'm gonna hit him with the snatch back. He falls, easy dunk, 360, and in the very next play, same thing. I'm gonna drop him, his AI was just playing horrible defense, he just quit. Because he was getting bodied in the post a little too much. But anyway, we got this next game. This guy, I don't know why he pressed square there. Don't know why he put two hands on the ball. But I'll take it. He scored six points. But anyway, I'm going to hit him with the crossover and then get an easy park dunk to fall. And after this guy, we got some guy with a pink afro to pull up. So I'm going to hit him with this step back move that I've been hitting most of the guards with. They've had no idea how to guard it. Next play, same thing. Green. Some of the big men couldn't even guard this move. That's basically how I was getting takeover, as you can see. Have it right here. This guy does not fall on the first ankle breaker, doesn't fall on the second. So I'm just going to hit him with a post hop shot. And that's going to be the game. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like. Let me know if you guys enjoyed these types of videos where it's just me talking over highlights, as you can see. One more ankle breaker to end it off for y'all. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been King Josh, and I'm out. Peace.